So you might not know this, but according to our next guest, the United States relies almost entirely on foreign suppliers for the fuel that feeds our nuclear power plants. That includes 20 percent coming from Russia. In a new op-ed, he says that's a big risk for our energy independence. Let's welcome Ed McGinnis. He's the former acting assistant secretary in the Department of Energy's nuclear office. He's now the CEO of Curio. That's a nuclear innovation and technology development company. And uh, thank you for being here today, Ed. Um, this is not My something people think about too frequently. We say all the time that we want our American independence when it comes to all things energy. And I think we look at, at nuclear as being one of the ways that we can do that, just like we think Germany can be a little more independent if they relied more heavily on nuclear as well. But you point out um, that you can't really get the fuel for any of those things from here in America or in Germany, too. In fact, uh, we do rely, 20% of our electricity in this country comes from nuclear. A lot of people just don't realize that. It also represents over 50% of our clean energy. That's the sum total of all wind, solar, and hydro combined. So nuclear energy is a vital element of our energy supply chain. And that's correct. We rely 100%, virtually 100%, on foreign suppliers for our nuclear fuel. Fortunately, we have one European facility in the United States that provides about a third of our fuel, but a third is not enough, one is not enough, and not having any American suppliers is absolutely not where we should be. What happened? How did we get to this position? Because I've always thought of this being something we could entirely handle ourselves. <clears throat> it's been decade over decade of, frankly, allow having policies that have not supported or prioritized domestic production of nuclear fuel. Over the years, we've allowed ourselves to be, frankly, penetrated by foreign state-owned companies in the, uh, in the large part. Russia provides over or approximately 20 percent of our enriched fuel services to this day, and that is substantial. We need to reestablish our, not only our enrichment capability, that is a key component of provide, producing nuclear fuel, but we need to recycle our nuclear materials. We have a huge stockpile, the largest untapped stockpile of clean energy in the form of nuclear waste that we call waste, but it's anything but waste. So my company, Curio, is one of those companies looking to unlock the potential of our domestic nuclear fuel supply, get us out from under dependence on foreign suppliers, and do it in an environmentally sustainable way, in a smart business way, by recycling this nuclear material. Have, have there not been, uh, you said that the policies have, have set it up so it doesn't go this way. There, there's not funds readily available from the, from the private markets to do this? Your, your company's doing this. What, what, what are the roadblocks standing in the way? The roadblocks are primarily, first of all, the law needs to be adjusted. In the United States, nuclear material it, coming out of a nuclear reactor is considered essentially waste and not recycled. So we are working with Congress, looking to Congress to make some adjustments to allow the industry to come up with innovative ways to fully maximize the, these assets of nuclear materials in our country. Most people don't realize it, but when you have nuclear fuel going in a reactor, when you pull it out after running about 18 to 24 months, you've only used about 4% of the energy value. That's 96% that's not being used. And right now we're treating it as waste. And again, I, as indicated, it's anything but waste. France and other countries, leading nuclear countries, recycle their material now. In the United States, due to policies over the years, going all the way back to Carter, we, had, we ceased recycling. Those days are gone. We need to recycle, we need to be thoughtful about this, and we need to reclaim our energy production and energy independence in the U.S. nuclear supply sector.